Well, I can confirm that the Department of Defense was tracking a high altitude object over Alaska airspace in the last 24 hours. Out, uh, the, uh, the object was flying at an altitude of uh, 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. Out of an abundance of caution and at the recommendation of the Pentagon, President Biden ordered the military to down the object. Well, there it is. The White House and the Pentagon are confirming that a U.S. fighter jet shot down an object over Alaska yesterday at 1.45 p.m., the White House deeming the object to be a major safety issue. And this comes after an initial balloon was shot down just a week ago, but only after it crossed the country and hovered over our top secret military locations, and it took that voyage for about eight days. The Chinese government claiming that that balloon was used for weather research and was just pushed off course. But what does all this say about China-U.S. relations and our strength when it comes to the world stage? Let's bring in new Wyoming Congresswoman Harriet Hageman. Harriet, I know I interviewed you when you were running. First of all, congratulations. I haven't had a chance to say that to you. It's wonderful to have have you here and boy what a busy time you already have had what's your reaction uh, to the way Biden has handled this recent one compared to the last one which took eight days I, I think what we're seeing is the result of a result of a very weak administration the reality is is that the that on the world stage Joe Biden is not seen as someone who's willing to do what it takes to protect American sovereignty and so whether this particular object comes from China or elsewhere it just simply shows that there is an enormous threat out there, and I don't think the Biden administration necessarily takes this step seriously. You know, it's interesting because the last one, as you know, as we just pointed out, it took a long time. They let it go all the way, and then they shot, off, uh, shot it uh, off of Surfside Beach in South Carolina. Uh, but let it go the entire time, knowing it was also hitting some of these very sensitive military installations where ICBMs are and some of the B-52 bombers, very concerning. This one, they said, well, we were concerned because this one was at 40,000 feet, which is basically around the area of civilian mm -hmm. aviation. But, but what do you make of it? It doesn't make any sense. And was this clearly sort of a knee-jerk reaction to the fact that President Biden got so much heat for the delayed one on the first one? I think what you're pointing out is that there is quite a bit of distrust with what this administration tells us. We don't know what to believe. And uh, that's why you're asking these questions. It's why I am asking these questions, because it doesn't make sense. The first uh, Chinese spy balloon came over Wyoming. And we have Warren Air Force, Air Force Base in Cheyenne. And if you look at the trajectory that it took over the state of Wyoming alone, it is extremely concerning. Again, you ask the question, is this just simply a knee-jerk reaction because they had a lot of blowback, so to speak, as a result of the first action? Absolutely. I, I, I don't trust this administration in terms of the policies that they're implementing and in terms of the information that they're providing to the American public. We need more information. We need them to come clean. And we need actual, we actually need a briefing on what data they have about or related to both of these incursions. Well, speaking of uh, coming clean, I'm sure you're aware um, of this issue. AT&T's DirecTV recently removed Newsmax from their channel lineup while continuing to pay carriage fees to 22 liberal news and info channels with smaller audiences than Newsmax. More than 80 members of Congress have called for hearings on this matter, and our own Eric Bowling spoke about this with Mark Levin. Take a listen, and I'll get you to react. Here it is. It's Probably. scary what's, the way, how fast the country's moving left and, and, and mm -hmm. until people stand up and stop, get involved, tell your Congress people it, it's got to stop, it won't. 877 Newsmax, and that'll get you to where you need to go, correct? That's it. That's it. 877 that'll, that'll Newsmax. You. This is unbelievable. I want competition. I you want know, more platform. So many talking about it, including Mark and Eric, that you heard there. What are your thoughts on the censorship of conservatives when it comes to DirecTV dropping Newsmax from its platform? What's your reaction, Congresswoman? What people need to understand is that the reason that they're attempting to silence conservative, the conservative voice is because they cannot compete 
in the marketplace of ideas. I'm willing to debate anybody about my conservative bona fides. I'm willing to con I'm willing to debate anybody about the best policies for the United States of America and, and frankly, the world. I'm willing to debate the important issues of our time. What we're seeing is that the left, the liberals, the Democrats, the liberal media are making the decision that they know they can't compete with us in terms of our ideas, so they have to silence our voices. It's not just that they may disagree with us, it's that they know that if the American people is exposed to conservative thought, they're going to agree. And so that is what we're seeing. So I'm actually on the select committee for the weaponization of the federal government. One of the issues that we are addressing is the effort by the federal government to silence parents at school board meetings, to, uh, to conspire with Twitter and Facebook and YouTube to silence the conservative voice. These are issues that we're going to be getting to the bottom of. So not only has it is this an issue for, for Newsmax, and we need to, as they say, have the hearings to address it, but we also have to find out to what extent the federal government is involved. So uh, you and your colleagues, you believe, will call for hearings on this, it sounds like, right? Absolutely. I, I, I don't think that there's going to be any question that we're going to be calling these people in and asking them why they are doing this to AON, to Newsmax, uh, frankly, to anyone who is right of uh, the radical left. Yeah, very important. Thank you very much. It's great to have you here, and congratulations again, Harriet. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much.